<clears throat> Hello YouTube. It's your boy. You already know who it is. And uh the reason why I'm uh recording from my phone is because you know the sound quality is like a hundred times better compared to um when I record on my uh computer. You know, lately I've been you know re uh recording videos on my computer and I find that it is like a hundred times easier uh, to record and better to record on my phone. Currently, I got the LG G3, but I'm getting ready to uh, record from my, my iPhone uh, 5S because the uh, video quality is great as well as the uh, re recording uh, quality, the uh, sound quality. And uh, yeah, that's basically that. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the corrupt judicial system here in America. Let me tell you a little story. Just yesterday I was applying for work. I was applying for a job. Um and I and as I was in the interview room speaking with the interviewer, there was another interviewer on, on my right hand side at a different table. I was on the phone talking to a black man that applied uh earlier. Uh, he made it home already. You know, he already did, he already applied. He already did everything he had to do just to be told by this woman that he could not work because of his criminal history. No, I'm not I'm not condoning like I'm not saying that criminals should work. What I'm what I am saying is, do you know what that does to a to a man's confidence? That's like not even just a black man's confidence. Do you know what that does to a man's confidence? When he's out there looking for work, he's he's out here trying to change his life and the judicial system doesn't allow him to. This woman literally said to him over the phone, uh, sir, um, due to your history, uh, you, you cannot work. You cannot you, you, you cannot work for the company that we that we have available for you. And she said, uh, uh, I was hoping that it wouldn't come up, but it did. And I'm so sorry. People, you have to understand how often this goes on in America. And then you wonder why in the black community, why the violence is is uh, is constantly occurring the way it does. The reason why violence is so prevalent in the black community is because so many of these young black boys got records. And, and, and then the ones that don't have records, they don't get jobs. They don't get hired. Nobody's hiring them. The only influence they have is the streets. So what ends up happening? They get a record. It's very difficult not to get a record when you're a young black boy without a father growing up in the ghetto. It's very difficult. It really is. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's difficult, especially when you become a victim of your own neighborhood. If you if you're not part of some kind of gang in 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 um uh participating in some kind of crime just to get your status up within that game it's very difficult and it's the perfect setup it's the perfect setup for the black man okay it's the perfect setup as soon as you get a record you can't get hired anywhere every single place that i have ever applied to they ask me straight up do you have a criminal history and i tell them straight up no i don't it, every time, every time they ask me that question and, and, and I respond, I always thank God. I always thank God because what if I did have a criminal history? What if I 10 years ago or or uh, five years ago used to participate in those those kinds of uh, activities? I wouldn't be able to get a job. And you have to understand, people, these records affect these black men for the rest of their lives. These records affect them for the rest of their lives. They literally will not be able to get a job at most places because of something that they did 10, 15 years ago. You know, because of something that they did in the past. You know, I believe that the uh, the uh, judicial uh, system, the, uh, the the laws should change. In a way that it allows black men that are actually trying to make a change in their lives to actually get a damn job.
a fucking job. And so that they won't be out there on the streets and have to hustle and get locked up and keep going in and out of jail or get 10 years in prison, 20 years in prison. You see what I'm saying? It's a setup. I'm telling you, it's a setup. You have to understand, folks. Those white boys that grow up in these white neighborhoods that that, that commit all of these crimes, the dumb white boys are just as bad and sometimes worse than the black, the young black males committing the crimes that they commit. But you don't hear about the, the white boys. You want to know why? Because they get chances. Did you also know that the white boys that, that commit crimes, they don't go to prison right away. They don't go to a uh, uh, juvenile detention right away. They go to counseling sessions. They go to counseling sessions in order to prevent them from ever having to go through that. That uh, that system, that setup. Okay, did you know that? I got that information from inside sources. Those white boys that live in these white communities, they don't know. They don't know nothing of what it's like to be a a, a young black man trying to make it, trying to survive. Okay. The white boys get, they get a hundred chances. They get a hundred chances and they still fuck up. You want to know why? Because they are not held accountable for the shit they do. Their parents got their back. Okay. The, the, ju- the judicial system has their back and make sure that they do not get records. So guess what? They get to constantly get job after job after job after job after job. They could be a petty thief. They, they, they could be a, uh, uh, they could be a, uh, a thief they could be a person that that uh that assaulted somebody in the past it doesn't even matter if you're white you're good you're gonna get you a job but the same does not apply if you're a black man okay i'm speaking strictly about black men because black women they don't count in this shit they don't fucking count and what i mean by that is black women could act a goddamn fool and still keep their fucking job and get a job Black women can do anything they fucking want and get a job. That's how it works here in America. And don't fucking tell me different. Don't tell me anything different. So yeah. That's what this video is about, people. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm just really, you know, I'm, I'm really upset how, uh, you know, uh, the uh, judicial system is, is set up this way. It's set up for, for the failure of black men. Strictly black men, you know, um, yeah, so, uh, be sure to leave your comments, tell me what you think, peace.